What's up, everybody? Tim Lively, PGA professional, back with KGG Sports, and the Hello Caddy review that was promised happens right now. Alright guys, so let's talk some technology for a minute. Now, you may be familiar with some of the robo trolleys or powered pole carts that you've seen out in the golf course before. Um, some of them are actually pretty decent. They're made for a consumer environment though. They're made to kind of fold up, put it in your trunk, take it with you to the golf course. You lift it out of your trunk and set your bag on it and off your way. They're not real light. That's not a, a thing that a lot of players that I know like to do. As a matter of fact, uh, most of the courses that I'm familiar with have started housing uh, players pull carts and their powered pull carts so they don't have to do that process. Hello Caddy circumvents that. Hello Caddy is a commercial unit. It's meant to be at the golf course. It's meant to be rented like a golf cart. The big deal is the difference in technology. Those consumer carts that we were talking about, those are always manually controlled in some way or some form. They're either going to have a remote control or a beacon of some sort that you wear on you and that's how it would track you. The difference is Hello Caddy is using LiDAR technology. If you're familiar with Tesla or any of the autonomous driving scenarios that are out there, they use the same technology. It's LiDAR. It kind of gives them a vision of what's in front of them. So because Hello Caddy is using LiDAR, I don't need to wear anything. I don't have to have a controller. I don't have to have a beacon. I don't have any way for it to track me other than that LiDAR sensor. So if I put her in tracking mode, tracking mode. it scans me and follows me wherever I go, it goes. This is a commercial unit. This is meant for us to be at the golf course and rented. And because of that, every design feature was kept in mind for that exact role. So high strength steel frame, very lightweight. We have hub motors in both wheels, 350 watts in each wheel. Now, when we go 350 watts in each wheel, it means combined 700 watts of power. So this thing's not underpowered by any means. Lastly, it's very safe. If I stop, it stops. All right, we talked a little bit about technology. Let's go over the features. Now, when it comes to these pull carts, there's always manual control for the powered ones that are consumer-based. For the ones that are not consumer-based, more of a commercial environment, this has both the tracking and a powered throttle right here. So if I want to use the throttle, I'm in a tight area, need to maneuver it myself, or just want to walk it with myself, a little twist throttle, I just grab it and it'll go that direction. The wheels are on casters, so I can just turn with it real sharp, go back the other way, no matter what I do, it'll follow me. So I have manual control whenever I need it. Some of the other good features on this thing. So here's the control panel. The control panel is extremely simple. I mean, this thing is very, very easy to use, very low learning curve, which is great for being rented at a golf course. On the panel here, we have the power indicators. We can see that we're 100%, 75, 50, and 25, so you always know what kind of power you have. And as a backup double, the battery itself is down here. This may look familiar. Very similar to what you might find on an electric bicycle or an e-bike. This thing slides in and out, and I have a little button right here that'll show me the battery capacity right on the battery itself. Now, as far as the functionality of the actual operation, we have some warning buttons up here and some indicators. Now, this is the Korean prototype. This is going like crazy in Korea right now, being imported in the US and localized as we speak. Up here, we're talking about the power being on. Right here, we're talking about the remote control, which is this guy being connected. Right here, this is the incline or avoidance of detection of obstacles. So if it's on a heavy incline or detects an obstacle, it will stop. Also right here is if you ever have any motor issues. So again, very, very simple. Basically a linear functionality on and off. Am I doing it manually? Tracking mode. Or am I putting it in tracking mode? Tracking mode. So when using the Hello Caddy for the first time, like anything, there's a small learning curve. Um, I would really compare it to the first time somebody pulls a trailer with their car. If they've never done it before, there's a few minutes of a learning curve, right? Making your wide right hand turn, things of that nature. Hello Caddy, very similar. So, got plenty of power. Obviously, I can have it track me and it'll go right up this hill, no problem. And I made a wide enough turn here, so it'll follow me right around this tree, no problem. But if I did that same thing, and let's say I got too close to the tree as I made my turn. Well, I'll show you what happens. So I come back around, and I get up by this tree, and I get past it, 
and I forget that I got a trailer behind me and I go this way, it's going to stop because it sees that tree. So you've got to learn to kind of make sure that you are following it the right direction. Now, the nice thing is, is the course can geofence. You can, any areas of hazards, you can make it to where it's only manual control. And hopefully, most people have the common sense that when they get into these tight areas or these difficult spots, they'll go ahead and take manual control, do it just fine, get themselves out into an open area. Once they're in an open area, go ahead, hit the tracking bucket again. Tracking mode. Take off, hit your next shot. Well guys, let's talk about for the golf course. What this thing's for. This is not a consumer product. This is not something that we want the individual buying and trying to lift that out of their trunk as they go to and from every golf course. It's really one of the things that sets Hello Caddy apart. The other thing is the robustness of the build, all right? This thing is made for a commercial environment. Big wheels, lightweight steel frame, lots of safety features. It's made for commercial environments, rented at the golf course. So first question for any golf operator I know, can I make revenue off of it? Absolutely. Picture your $20 cart fee for your $8,000 to $10,000 carts. You got less than half of that price, and you're still getting half the price on the rental. I see about a $10 to $15 rental fee for a Hello Caddy, you know, that $20 to $35 rental for the carts, right? The other good thing that I like is the feature set that's set up for the golf course. For example, right here, any tablet, any Samsung, Android, Apple, we have the case for it. We have the softwares to help you integrate with your existing systems, food and beverage, safety, know where all your carts are at, geofence them out of certain areas. All the features that the golf course wants in order to control their cart fleet, built right in. I'm telling you guys, this is a money maker, and that's really gonna improve the amount of people walking at your course, which has a lot of momentum right now. Ever since COVID started, getting outside, doing the walk with the golf course, taking it back to its origins. This is a great, great option for you to offer your members. Tracking mode.